I'm speaking to Joey Gilbert. And who are you? I am a uh, concerned and active uh, citizen of the local community. And uh, I could, couldn't tell, help but notice that you were at the event tonight, today, uh, here in front of the State Capitol. Uh, wh why did you attend? You know, I was just out walking around. You know, this is a very important and trying time in our state and our entire country. And more than anything, I just like to stay in touch and uh, stay in tune to, to what's taking place. And, you know, uh, obviously, taxing and spending is, is an issue we're all concerned about. It doesn't matter which area of uh, the aisle you're coming from. You know. We want to make sure things are done right, and I'm just more than anything, just getting a feel for how everyone is, um, you know, taking uh, the events of our government, the actions of our government, you know, just taking it in for myself. And more importantly, what'd you think? I mean, what'd you think of the outpouring today? You know, the outpouring today is it's awesome. We live in an amazing place, you know, the United States of America, and the, the state of Nevada, where people get together freely and, you know, and, uh, just let out their uh, frustrations or, or let their opinions be known, and it, it's a beautiful thing. So I thought it was a great event. It was well over probably 1,000, 1,500 people, you know, and it's, and it's great to see peaceful demonstration and people can, uh, like I said, uh, express themselves. And that being said, uh, this is kind of this is my first time seeing the state legislature uh, you know, this session. Uh, of course, I haven't been here in a while. Uh, rumor has it you're, you might be considering a run for you know, office here in your, uh, in your future state state senate. And uh, you know, what what got you thinking of doing that right now? You know, it's, it's, it is true. It's very simple, though. I've been involved in uh, giving back to this community since uh, I got out of high school in 1994 from Monroe and went to the university. And I've been involved in numerous campaigns and uh, I've been involved in giving back to the community since then. I've really consistently done it and enjoyed it. So I've always aspired to be involved in public service. And we're just, you know, we're looking at different options right now and we're exploring. It's, a, it's as simple as I can say. And if not, you know, possibly run for office or being involved in events like this, how else will you stay involved? in the community or stay involved in events you know, like this? Well, I've, I'll always be involved. I mean, you know, like I said, I'm here today and I'm always trying to contribute in some way and if whether it's helping you know, someone that's running for an office or someone that's in office right now mm -hmm. and uh, just, staying, you know, just staying in tune with the, the issues and the key and the key things that are important to Nevadans. You know, it's important. You know, you, you want to know what people are thinking about and if I can help in some way, I will. If I can, you know, I can find someone who can. So it's, it's just about connecting the dots and, and lending a hand where you can. Like I said, I, I'd like to see people uh, have a hand up, you know, this time, you know, I mean, it's not about a hand out, it's about a hand up, and it's a tough time. And I'm a compassionate person, and I'd, I'd like to see people get the, get the help they need. And one last question, and I couldn't help but know, I have to ask this one. Uh, will you be fighting again anytime soon? I will be fighting. I'm not done fighting. Uh, we will fight again in, uh, in June or July, yeah. and uh, that's part of the decision process of moving forward if we will run. But um, it's all being planned out. I don't do anything without a significant amount of planning, so we're looking into it now. Gotcha. Before I go, anything else you'd like to say? Uh, you know, again, just that I'm, I'm, I'm very uh, honored to be able to come out here and see some, some amazing you know, distinguished leaders. And I'm just very impressed by the service from a lot of the retiring senators. You know, Senator Matthews is someone I look up to as a mentor and someone I have great respect for. You know, a lot of them, Senator Townsend, Senator Raggio, it's just amazing to see a lot of them and what they've done and uh, learn from them. So I'm out here just learning and, uh, and seeing what's important. All right. Well, Mr. Gilbert, thanks very much and uh, have a good one. Thank you.